This is my first time ever casting my own jewelry. I've always outsourced this step of my business, but now I'm going to be doing it in-house. I started off by attaching my wax design to a sprue tree and adding it to the base of the flask. I taped up the flask to keep the investment from pouring out the holes, and I didn't do a great job with that, and you'll see it later. <laughs> this investment is a carcinogen, so you have to wear a respirator when working with it. Once you add it to the water, you only have eight minutes to work with it before it starts to set, so this part gets a little nerve-wracking. Now it's time to vacuum out all the bubbles from the investment, and as you can tell, I underestimated the size of my mixing bowl. Next, it was the flask turn to have a little spill. After the investment cured for two hours, I removed the rubber base and started the burnout cycle. Fast forward to 1 a.m. and it was time to pour the silver. I fumbled a little bit with the flask, but I think I just need better tongs. Now that the flask is in the casting chamber, I turned on the suction and poured the silver. As soon as I turned off the casting chamber, I tripped a breaker. Once the power came back on, I was able to quench my piece and see if it worked or not. Somehow everything worked out and this is the final result. I'll have a more detailed casting video on my YouTube channel soon. Bye guys!